assure you, Lisa, I meant no disrespect to your marriage. Oh, he's saying I'm a step up from Bloody Mary, supposed to be a compliment. A mad woman, both bland and barren. A religious fanatic gone nearly bald from pulling out her own hair. Did she really do that? Come, Lizzie, you can't drop a tidbit like that without details. She did it the most around the act of sex. It was all the guilt. Philip said there was always tufts of hair in the bed. He couldn't bear it. Perhaps that's why there were no children. Well, except the tumour baby. Oh, <laughs> all I know about that, the poor thing. Yes, bless her soul. Although she did kill thousands in the most ghastly fashion. It's nice to spend time with you, Mother. To have your attention. That's what I always wanted. Everyone else craved fathers. The King. He loomed so large and spent so little time with us. You were quieter in those days. I had to be careful to earn my place at court, even with your father. I was an outsider, a foreigner not to be trusted. Is that how it was for you in Spain? No. Never. Because by some miracle, my husband loves me. Not for my royal blood or for some deal that you made to trade me off with a handsome dowry. He loves me. And I no longer question it. Just as I no longer question why you couldn't. Although I suspect it's because I wasn't pretty enough or smart enough or even kind enough. Please, no, it's true, the last especially. In fact, I'm still not kind. Let me be more accurate. I don't plan on being kind to you. Because I will never forget how you treated me. And now, as wife to the most powerful man in the world, I won't let you forget it either. Katie Amos, five foot five. 